The following is a class on the Nectar of Devotion, page number 33 through 34, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January 30th, 1973, in Calcutta, India. The attention of a pure devotee is so much attracted to glorification of the pastimes, names, qualities, forms, and so forth of the Lord that the devotee does not care for mukti. Sri Bilba Mangala Thakur has said, <coughs> If I am engaged in devotional service unto you, my dear Lord, then very easily can I perceive your presence everywhere. And as far as liberation is concerned, I think liberation stands at my door with folded hands waiting to serve me. Yes. <coughs> Uh, by chanting the mantra, Hare Krishna mantra, Chita Darpana Marjanam, gradually we become cleansed of all dirty things within our heart. Thus our mind becomes purified. And in the purified condition of the mind, we can think of Krishna rightly. In this way, uh, Krishna becomes practically uh, dependent on the devotees. Krishna is the master controller of everything, but to the pure devotee, he becomes dependent. Uh, so why the pure devotee will ask for anything else? Adur lava atma bhakto. For a devotee, Krishna is uh, within the palms of a devotee. Ajita. Jitopasya, although Krishna is not conquerable, but he likes to be conquered by his devotee. That is the position. Just like he um, willingly uh, placed himself to be conquered by Madhav Jasoda, to be conquered by Radharan, to be conquered by his friends. Uh, Krishna became defeated and he has to take his friend on the shoulder. Hmm. Practically sometimes we see that a king keeps a joker amongst his uh, associates. And sometimes the joker insults the king and the king enjoys. The joker Sometimes, just like there is a famous joker, Gopal Bhaan, in Bingo. So, one day the king asked him, Gopal, what is the difference between you and an ass? See, he immediately measured the distance from the king. He said, it is three feet only, sir. <laughs> The difference is only three feet. So everyone becomes to love. And the king enjoyed that insult. <laughs> because sometimes it is required. So Krishna also, everyone praises him in exalted position. Everyone. That is Krishna's position. The Supreme Lord. In Vaikuntha, there is only praising. There is no such thing. Uh, but in Vrindavan, Krishna is free to accept insult from his devotee. Uh, the people do not know that. What is Vrindavan like? Uh, <coughs> so, devotees are so exalted. Uh, rather than any orders, don't allow Krishna to come here. Krishna cannot come in. He flatters the uh, other gopis, please allow me to go there. No, 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 there is no order. 
You cannot go. So Krishna likes that. But the Mahabharata, they cannot understand that the supreme absolute truth can be controlled by the devotee. They be, want to become one. But here uh, the Vaishnava, pure Vaishnava, they become so exalted that there is no question of becoming one. Gaivena phalati divva kishora murti bhakti stai sthiratara jadi bhagavan shya billama mathadu se. Gaivena phalati divva kishora murti. Mukti mukulita angali sehivati asma. Mukti. Oh, she is standing with folded hands. What can I do for you, sir? Dharmātha kāma maksa samaya pratiksa. They are just like attendant, servant. Dharmātha kāma. So for a devotee, the position is so exalted, they don't care for all these dharmātha kāma maksa. So simply uh, absorbed in thoughts of Krishna, all as things. Satato, smartabha satato Vishnu. Kirtaniya sada hari. Always, twenty-four hours, even in sleeping. That is perfect. Always thinking of Krishna. Go on. To the pure devotees, therefore, liberation and spiritual emancipation are not very important. That's not very important. They they think that moksha is very exalted position. Therefore, Sridhar Swami says, moksha, mokha bhancha parjantam niyastam. Mokha bhancha parjantam niyastam. Dharma Prujita Kaitavatra Paramanin Masarang Satang Bastava Bhostuveda Matra. So Bhagavat said that this Samad Bhagavatam is meant by meant for the Paramahans, not for ordinary men. Uh, ordinary men, they are after Dharma Artha Kam Moksha. Uh, First of all, now and then, even they do not care for dharma. They are animals. Uh, really human life begins when they, to, they take to religious principle. dharma hina pasibhi samana. So dharma artha kam moksha, gradually improvement. And devotional service is above moksha. Uh, Therefore, dharma projita koitava, koitava, uh, cheating. As soon as there is some motive, that is cheating religion. Uh, but bhakti, uh, there is no such thing. Uh, dharma, thakā, moksha, it is yava, transcendent. And therefore it is meant for the paravan in mastara, satā, uh, nirmāsa. Nirmasa means envious, uh, not envious. Masrata para utkarsanam asahanam siddhar sanjit. If, if somebody is advancing, somebody is making improvement, his neighbors, his friends, even most intimate, Friends, they also become envious. So oh, this man is advancing so much. This man is becoming so rich, so popular, envious. So Vaishnav is not envious. If somebody advances more than him, he appreciates. Oh, he is so nice that he has advanced more than me. I could not serve Krishna in such a nice way. That is Vaishnavi. And if one is envious, oh, this man is going so fast. Let him, let us put some impediments on this path. He is not Vaishnava. He is Hingasra Jantu. He is animal. 
Vaishnav cannot be envious. Therefore, Vaishnav uh, cult. This is paraman in masrana. Uh, no masrata, no enviousness. Satang, uh, devotees. Uh, devotees means he must be in masrana. Uh, what? It is connected to the third <coughs> Bhagavatam, chapter 25, verse 23. Kapila Dev has advised his mother, Deva Bhukti, as follows. My dear mother, my pure devotees are charmed by seeing my different forms, the beauty of my face, the structure of my body so enchanting, my laughing, my pastimes, and my glance appear to them so beautiful that their minds are always absorbed in thoughts of me, and their lives are dedicated fully unto me. Although such people do not desire any kind of liberation or any kind of material happiness, still I give them a place amongst my associates in the Supreme Abode. Hmm. Therefore, this Archan Marga, Sri Vigraha Radhana Nittanana Singaratana Mandira Marjanadu Jiktasya Bhaktang Sanijanyatuvi. This is the first duty of the spiritual master to engage the devotees in archan mantra, Sivigra Aradhana, Nitta, uh, cleansing the temple, dressing the deity, decorating with flowers, ornaments, and so that devotees, as soon as uh, see, smiling Krishna, pleasing Krishna, they become pleased. They become pleased by seeing Krishna pleased. They do not want to be pleased independently. That is not devotee. Devotee's pleasure is seeing Krishna is pleased. Uh, uh, Krishna is also pleased when he sees the devotees are pleased. Uh, this is competition. Uh, this is competition. Krishna wants to see that his devotees are pleased, and the devotees want to see that Krishna is pleased. Uh, Duhe lage hura huri. This is the competition going on between Krishna and Radharan. By Radharan, seeing the Radharani's beauty, Krishna becomes pleased, and Radharani, when he sees that Krishna is very pleased, she becomes pleased. She becomes more beautiful, and Krishna wants to see uh, in this way there is competition. This is Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikiti Allahadini Shakti Rasma. This is the exchange of Krishna's pleasure potential. Srimati Radharani is the manifestation of pleasure potential of Krishna. Uh, so people who do not know that Radha Krishna Lila is not ordinary uh, thing, just like human being or young girls or young boys, no. Ananda Chinamaya Rasa Pratibhavita. They are displayed of Ananda Chinamaya Rasa. Chinamaya Rasa, not Jara Rasa. Here everything is Jara Rasa. So when rascals they take Krishna is enjoying with girls, they think uh, in comparison with this Jara Rasa. But they do not know that this is not Jara Rasa. This is Ananda Chinamaya Rasa. That they do not know. <coughs> Therefore, they characterize Krishna um, differently. Uh, the question is why Krishna danced with the gopis? The rascals do not know the gopis are not these ordinary gods. Uh, they are chinmaya rasa. Uh, uh, Alladini shakti, expansion of Alladini shakti. They should think that Krishna is the supreme Brahma. Supreme Brahma for realizing Brahma, Sukham, one gives up all material happiness, Tyagena. And the Supreme Brahma is enjoying material happiness. No, they do not know. Therefore, it is prohibited that ordinary man should not try to understand Radha Krishna Prabhupada. Because they will commit offense. They do not know. Therefore, Nartam Das Thakur sings 
রূপ রঘুনাথ পদে হইবে আসুতি কবে হাম বুঝব সে যুগল ইজ হ্যাঙ্কারিং হি ইজ লুকিং ফর দি ডেস হোয়েন হি উইল বি এবল টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট ইজ রাধা কৃষ্ণ প্রণয় এন্ড দিস অর্ডিনারি ম্যান দেয়ার ইমিডিয়েটলি এজ ইজ দেয়ার বিকম মোর দ্যান নর্তম দাস রাধা কৃষ্ণ লীলা নো উই শুড বি ভেরি মাচ কেয়ারফুল দিস রাধা কৃষ্ণ লীলা ক্যান বি আন্ডারস্টুড বাই দি পরবহন সহ লিবারেটেড সো উই শুড সিম্পলি ওয়ার্সি নাও উই আর ওয়ার্সিভিং রাধা কৃষ্ণ ইট ইজ নট ডাইরেক্টলি রাধা কৃষ্ণ ইট ইজ লক্ষ্মী নারায়ণ সেবা ইট ইজ নট ডাইরেক্টলি ইট ইজ নট পসিবল ফর কন্ডিশন সোল দেয়ার ইজ নো পসিবিলিটি অফ ওয়ার্সিভিং রাধা কৃষ্ণ বাট উই ওয়ার্সিপ থ্রু শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রু দেয়ার ফর উই কিপ শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু এলাম উইথ রাধা কৃষ্ণ বাই দি গ্রেস হার শ্রী চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু উই মে বি এবল টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড রাধা কৃষ্ণ লিগর সম ডে ইন আওয়ার লাইফ রাধা কৃষ্ণ প্রণয় বিকৃতি আহ্লাদিনী শক্তি অস্ম একাত্মনাবী দেহভেদ শ্রীচৈতন্যাখ প্রকটমধুনা তদ্দম চৈক্ষমাপ থ্রু চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু উই ক্যান বি এবল ই মে বি এবল সম ডে টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট ইজ রাধা কৃষ্ণ অনার্পিত চিং চিরাত করুণয়াবতী ন খলো সমর্পয়ত উন্নত উজ্জ্বল সাং সভক্তি শ্যম হরি পুরট সুন্দর দ্যুতি what is that verse i forget now <coughs> so sri chaitanya mahaprabhu by the grace of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu we should try to understand we should try to understand radha krishna through um, bhakti rasa amrita sindhu nectar of devotion through the ghost samis don't try to this hall then will be hall yeah uh, smoking biri and doing all nonsense and singing radha krishna leela on the street and here they are going to hell radha krishna leela is not so cheap uh, <coughs> therefore they are called sahaja they have made it cheap uh, if they want to read bhagavatam immediately rashi uh, if they want to hear something about krishna immediately rashi because it appears similar that's like young boy and young girls but it is not that this anand chinmay rasa pratibhavita vi stavi jayev nijarupataya kalavi radharani is expansion of krishna's energy and the gopis are expansion of radharani's body they are not ordinary go on shrimad bhagavatam gives the assurance to the pure devotee of being elevated to association with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Srila Rupa Goswami remarked in this connection that one who is actually attracted by the beauty of the lotus feet of Sri Krishna or his service and whose heart by such attraction is always full with transcendental bliss will naturally never aspire after the liberation which is so valuable to the impersonal. Yes. Uh, liberates and a devotee never uh why liberation a prabhu ananda saraswati he say uh, liberation mean koi bollo koi bollo naraka ayati what is liberation it is as good as the hell koi bollo naraka ayati tidasa pura aakasha bushpayati the persons they are hankering after being elevated to the heavenly planet uh, so for a devotee this is will of the wish fantas magaria it is no value kai val lang naraka ati tidasa pura aakasha bushpayati duddanta indriya kala sapa padali pratkhata danastayate and the yogis karmis gyanis yogis karmis are after heavenly planet gyanis are after kai val liberation yogis are after controlling the senses 
the senses are very dangerous. Everyone knows our senses are very strong. Therefore, the yoga system is recommended for them who are very much in bodily concept of life. Therefore, they are advised to exercise the body to come to the point of spiritual platform. But those who are above bodily concept of life, those senses have been purified. Sarvapadhivinin muktam tatparatrina nirmalam rishikina rishikesha sevalam bhakti ruchyate. Those who are actually engaged in pure devotion, they are the senses are purified. Without purified senses you cannot approach. With ordinary material senses you cannot approach. Therefore you have to follow the regulative principles. Uh, uh, regulative principle and sinful activities. Otherwise how you can approach Krishna? Jisam uh, papam. By the senses we commit so many sinful activities. Without being free from sinful activities, nobody can approach Krishna. Para Brahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Paramam Bhavan. Krishna is Paritam Paramam, the supreme purifier. So, how we can approach Krishna without being purified? Therefore, the four principles, regulative principles, must be followed. Otherwise, there is no chance of advancing. There is no chance. <coughs> they are relatively, uh, cooperatively helpful chanting, but one must be willing that I must be purified to approach Krishna. Uh, otherwise he becomes savadya. Uh, so I am approaching Krishna, I can smoke very, I can take marijuana, I can... No. Uh, well, must be purified. Uh, <coughs> one. So the passage is also there in the third canto, fifteenth chapter of the same book, wherein Uddhava addresses Lord Krishna and says, My dear Lord, for persons who are engaged in your transcendental loving service, there is nothing worth obtaining from religiousness, economic development, sense gratification, or liberation. Although happiness from these dis- different sources can be very easily had by them. Therefore, devotees, another name is Niskinchan, Akinchan. Niskinchanas Bhagavad Bhajanon Mukhas. Niskinchan. He doesn't possess. Don't want to possess anything material. These are all material things. What are those? Sense gratification, economic development. Liberation. They are all different stages of material existence. And Krishna is not for the persons who are hankering after material position. Uh, Krishna is far away. Therefore, in the Kunti Stotra and Simad Bhagavat, it is a Niskinchana Sagochara. Uh, you, Krishna, you are understood by persons who have become niskincha. Niskincha. So, niskincha nasa bhagavad bhajanan mukhasa. The qualification of devotion is to become a niskincha. Means, one should not try to possess anything material. He should simply try to possess Krishna. There must be some position. Uh, the Mahavadi philosophy to dispossess material things will not help him. He must possess something positive, otherwise he fall down. Uh, that is our because we want something. Parang Dishtyanivartate. Uh, so we simply we try, then let me become sannyasi, nishkinchan. That is not possible. Uh, you must take to the service of Krishna. Hmm. So when you are fully satisfied that I possess Krishna, Krishna is within my heart, 
then you can give up all this nonsense, kick out, I don't want. Otherwise not possible. So there are two things. Niskinchanasa Bhagavad Bhajan. Parang paro jigisha. Those who have become what is this liberation for them? Nothing. The four things, dharma, artha, kam, mokha. So when one takes to this shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, that is the highest dharma. Topmost. That is the topmost yoga. So why you should hanker after dharma or thakambo? Uh, it is so nice thing. Uh, that is the statement of Uddhava. One who has become pure devotee, uh, one who has possessed Santasthita Gadabrita, he has become purified. Uh, but don't imitate, actually. See whether you are always thinking of Krishna. Uh, then it is all right. Uh, Niskin Chanasya Bhagavad Bhajanun Mukhasya Paranga Paranga Jigimisu Bhavusagarasya Vishainam Sandarsanam Mathaju Siddhancha Ha Hanta Ha Hanta Vishabhakshana Dapasadu. So we have to become Niskincha. But Niskincha we can become only when we possess Krishna. Otherwise, not possible. In spite of such facilities, my dear Lord, I do not aspire to achieve any such results. My only prayer is that I may have unflinching faith and devotion unto your Lord. Uh, this is the only thing. If we have got unflinching faith and devotion to the lotus feet of Krishna, then we can automatically become the skin chan liberated, develop an economic condition. That is not. Uh, uh, important thing for a devotee. They come automatically. Yogak chemang bahamam, Krishna says. Why he should try for economic development? Krishna personally comes. You want this, take it. Oh, that is devotee. Why he should hankering after uh, economic development? No. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaches, Nadhanagana Janagana Sundari, Kavitanga Jagadishka. There is no need of hankering. Krishna knows what he requires, how my devotee will be satisfied. Uh, if Krishna sees that this devotee has got little desire for some material enjoyment, Krishna will give. Uh, just like Dhuma Maharaj. Dhuva Maharaj, he went to the forest to worship the Lord for getting the kingdom of his father or better than that. So, uh, although when Dhuva Maharaj saw the Lord, he said, Samin kritathosmi varangnaj, I, I don't want anything. I am now fully satisfied. He still Krishna gave him Dhuvalo. Because he desired, no, you enjoy, then you come back again. So there is no need of asking any. Krishna knows, as the father knows, the mother knows, what is the need of my child. Therefore pure devotee never asks from Krishna anything, except his service. Mama janmani janmani shari bhavata gokti roi tuki. Without any cause, let me be engaged in your service. This is Krishna consciousness. Perfect. Go on. This is in the third chapter, 21st verse, wherein his mother and says, <clears throat> My dear mother, devotees whose hearts are always filled in the service of my lotus feet and who are prepared to do anything for my satisfaction, especially those who assemble together to understand my qualities, pastimes, and form, and thus glorify me congregationally and derive transcendental pleasure therefrom. Such fortunate devotees never desire to become one with me. Yes. Well. And not to speak of becoming one with me, if they are offered a post like mine in my abode, or opulence like mine, or even personal association with me with similar bodily features, they refuse to accept because they are satisfied simply by being engaged in my devotional service. Yes. All kinds of mukti, sarupa mukti, sajujya mukti, no devotee kicked out. 
There is no question of sadhu jiva. The other four kinds of mukti, sarupa mukti, salokka mukti, these mukti that are desired by the inhabitants of Vaikuntha, Vaikuntha Shah, especially in South India, they worship the Vaishnava, Venkatesha. Venkatesha means Vaikuntha, the Lord of Vaikuntha. They say, the, the associates, the devotees of the Lord in Vaikuntha, they desire sarupa mukti uh, to have similar feature of the body, four and eight. Vishnu uh, and Shalokka, the same as Narayan is living in Vaikuntha, they also live in Vaikuntha. Uh, this is also in the Bhakti Marga. But a, a higher advanced devotee, even he does not want all this. Uh, even uh, wherever Krishna puts him, that's all right. He doesn't matter. Uh, uh. <coughs> Jathātathāra vidudhāt lampata matprānana thastu sayyona. You can, whatever you like, you can do. It doesn't matter. I don't want any exchange. I don't want to do business with you. That is good. Wow. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, fourth canto, ninth chapter, tenth verse, King Dhruva says, My dear Lord, the transcendental pleasure derived by meditation upon your lotus feet, <coughs> which is enjoyed by the pure devotees, cannot be approached by the transcendental pleasure derived by the impersonalist through self-realization. So how can the fruit of workers who at most can aspire to promotion to the higher heavenly planets understand you? And how can they be described as enjoying a happiness similar to the devotee's happiness? <coughs> So there are three kinds of happiness as described, material happiness, spiritual happiness, and devotional happiness. Three kinds of happinesses are very nicely described in this chapter. Thank you very much.